So you and Dana White, you know, high school friends who I, I think ended up reconnecting like a, a decade after uh, high school, and then when you guys buy the UFC, you charge him early on with basically uh, running the thing. As this has grown, how mm -hmm. have you guys divided up the decision-making process? You know, it's it's kind of interesting. It, it's not as much dividing up, it's more collaboration. Okay. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I was always involved with the UFC. Um, I was running a public company, so I couldn't, you know, be running around saying, you know, I'm doing all these different things. But I always kept in touch with Dana, and, and he was running the day-to-day -day business. And what Dana has evolved into is literally the, the greatest fight promoter ever. I don't, you know, everybody talks about Don King, talk about Bob Arum. I don't think anybody has, has built and accomplished what, what Dana has. And he's taken on that role in such an, an amazing fashion. And, you know, um, he has the ability to really be out there, sell fights, understand what the consumer wants. I would say that Dana is, is really the mastermind behind a lot of the creative as far as kind of how the UFC is, you know, we sell to the consumers. And, and really what my role is, is, uh, you know, more strategy you know, day-to-day -day operations. I can't get Dana to sit in a meeting for more than 10 minutes, so somebody has to do it. You know, he's he's always off doing something else, but it ends up working out perfectly because we have very, very different um, approaches to business, very different personalities, yet it seems like it's like the perfect match, you know? Um, we balance each other out. To what extent was there ever a time where you started to question his ability? You know what, I don't, I never really questioned his ability. It was more a question for me of timing. You know, I, I thought Dana, at the time, people said was an un, unconventional hire, okay? But what they didn't understand is I had bought an unconventional business. Um, if I had gone out and bought the UFC and went out and hired a Harvard MBA um, or some guy that ran a big corporation, we'd have been, we'd have been toast a long time ago. Um, Dana was the perfect fit because he had this, un I don't care if he didn't go to college, I don't care if he wasn't a straight A student when he went to Bishop Gorman, he has what you can't teach, which is an incredible drive and an incredible amount of common sense and the ability to understand uh, people and understand the consumer. And, and I saw that, that he had that. Um, and I truly to this day believe that if it wouldn't have been uh, me, Frank, had not hooked up with Dana, that wouldn't be here today. Um, and it wasn't that I ever thought that, that he wasn't the right person. It was, was this the right time? Was the world ready for this product? Were we, were we too out far ahead of front of ourselves? And sometimes that happens, you know? Um, but, you know, we were able to hang on long enough to eventually figure it out and, and make it work.